Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be going through the Unreal Engine free asset month starting March of March. Unreal Engine give out free stuff today. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so that you kind of get prompted to make sure you go download the free stuff. Once again, as I talk about as well, use it as a training tool. So if you're into world design or world building and so on and so forth, have a look at the assets and kind of reverse engineer. So we'll go through that today. But once again, if you haven't already subscribed, let's get into it. Go, 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 go. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the advanced vehicle system. So obviously you can see it's kind of very much like a physics based um, car thingamabob. I haven't gone deep into looking into this project, but from reading the documentation, you can actually grab the armature out and recreate your own vehicles and then bring them back in. So you could have your own suspension, your own damage and so on and so forth. Like, look, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so if you're looking at making a, a, like a car game or something, this may be worth looking at it. Um, some really nice physics. Let me see if I can find the bit with the bumps. And here we can see what the current Unreal Engine default vehicling looks like. But then once we jump over into the AVS one, which is what this um, whole thing of a bob is all about, it's looking much better, looking gorgeous. So if you're looking at doing a car game, I highly recommend picking this one up. I mean, it's for free. So why wouldn't you? That's the thing. Let's go jump over into the next one. So the next video is all about wonderful particle effects looking schmick as using Nigeria. I think particle engine, engine in Unreal Engine, that's a lot of engines. Um, definitely something, this is stuff you want to learn. Unfortunately, the animations aren't in this pack, which I was kind of slightly disappointed because I wanted to grab them. This is purely all about these particle effects. Let's jump over to the next one. And the last one we're going to be looking at before we go into the models is the turn-based RPG template. And you can see that a lot of it has already been created and so on and so forth, all the mathematics and all that jazz behind it. Now it doesn't have any of these characters and we'll talk about the animations in a sec, but let me just fast forward a little bit and we can kind of see what the battle scenes look like. So it's the old Final Fantasy seven. I'm going to say, you know, I haven't played Final Fantasy for a while, but it's a whole turn-based system, which is pretty stinking cool. I think this is something if I were to go down the route, I might, take elements of this but it's it'd be more of a learning tool for me to learn how to actually how they accomplished what i was trying to what i've been trying to do um i'm not sure if this is in blueprints or c plus plus because i suck at c plus plus however i'm learning python but that's another story for another day another tale for another story another tw anyway playing through the actual system you can see that we can go up to the shop we can buy stuff Blah, 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 escape. Oh, geez, you can't press escape because that takes us out of here. And then we've got our, um, you know, our battle scenes here. Go on, I'll fight you, buddy. And then so on and so forth. However, the controls are still using the PlayStation stuff and I'm an Xbox man. But anyway, um, this would be something obviously we would have to go back in and change. Now, the next thing as well is we were talking about the animations. Now, it does come up with a whole pack of animations. However, these are the default animations, but they've just all been renamed. So, for instance, this is the fireball um, getting hit. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you go. range attack and AM fireball are exactly the same. So, there isn't really that much of a difference. I think there is a... Oh, geez, that was loud in me. Sorry. Uh, Media Storm. You can kind of see he just raises his hands, but the animation doesn't loop. So that's just something to be wary of. This one is more about the blueprints. But anyway, the more fun stuff, let's go check it out. So this is the office scene where we can actually have a look around what the office looks like. I mean, I really like this printer here. We can kind of move around. No, we can't. <laughs> because the collisions are set up. So let's just press escape and go through this manually. Um, I was already having a look how these books are made. Look at that, beautiful books there. We'll probably pull them apart and see what they look like. Same as these books. And we can kind of just quickly see what the meshes look like, how detailed they are. So let's have a look at this chair really quick. Double click on the static mesh. Um, we can go into wireframe and we can just see how, to me that seems high poly. 
but I don't know now. Uh, the UVs, come on, just show me UV zero. And we see that, yes, they are overlapping, but like we discussed in the last one, UV channel zero one, this is kind of like the lighting layer. So here with the UV channel zero, we can, we've got three different materials that read off this UV. So that's why they can overlap here. Um, the keyboard is that, oh my goodness, that's all one mesh, all the buttons, surely not. Really? So this is like I've said before, use this as a learning tool. Yeah, the keys are individual keys. Wow. Use this as a learning tool. Uh, especially I know some of you in my Discord server, which there is a link down the very bottom for my Discord server, want to get into level design. This is a way of working backwards. And when we look at the castle pack, we'll see that as well. Now, one thing as well, I just want to have a look at this printer. This printer looks nice. So let's break this apart as well. We can see it's got three materials on here. Um, let's go into the wireframe. Yeah, that's that's about what I expected. Um, UV, what does the UV look like? Now we've got three UV channels, which is interesting. UV one and UV two. So the UV two, I'm gonna say is probably the piece of paper. Let's just check M plot a print, which is just the one texture, double click. Yeah, that looks cool. That's a cool looking texture. Um, from here, I wanna see the plotter screen. Very simple textures. And it's a missive texture. Oh, so this must be, oh, this is just the screen. So if we kind of have a look, I'm gonna guess that is just that material. And if we have a look at the uh, plotter material itself, very simple. To me, that looks like it's actually come out of Substance Painter. Um, but I could be wrong, obviously, because this is kind of like the texture map that Substance Painter creates. And normally the roughness is plugged into ambient occlusion. I could be wrong with that one. That I'm actually, I think I'm lying. But anyway, we can see that how we've quickly broken that down, what we can take away from it. I mean, I'm sure we could bring this into Blender as well. And for those of you who would probably ask me a little bit later, what we can do is we can select our object, come over here onto the, the right hand side, right click browse to asset. We can select our po uh, plotter, right click, asset action, export. We don't wanna migrate, we wanna export and then we can save it as our FBX. Now from here, let's jump over into the castle one. The castle one looks quite nice. The textures seem a little bit per, uh, repetitive um, but probably with a bit of a um, decal thrown over it, you could probably break that apart. So that's pretty cool. You can just see how close we are with the wall. And obviously at this point, they don't look the best, but far away, they look quite nice. That's, that is pretty cool. Can I run any faster? No, I can't. Stairs are working well. Mm. So I'll be interested to break the stairs apart, especially to see what their collision box looks like. We're up the top here. Anything happen if we drop off? Nope. So let's press escape and we'll, let's go ahead and have a look at the scenery. So the scenery far off, we can see that these are all pretty much just textures, I believe. Come on. Ah, oh, so these are actually trees, but because of the level of detail, they're automatically changing to planes. Yep, that's pretty cool. That's, should, that's how it should be working. Um, we can see if we probably click on one of these towers, they're kind of like a prefab. Yeah, they, these are all just one giant prefab that they've copy and pasted all around. But with each individual piece, it looks like you can build them together, uh, build it separately so you can make unique pe um, pieces. But other than that, that is looking quite nice. Let's go ahead and check the other map. So if we go into overview, and now we can see just how many pieces are actually in this kit bashing set. Kit bashing set, world building set, castle volume, thingy a bob. So if you're looking at designing your own worlds, you know, this is stuff that you would probably need to create as well. So these are kind of our circular walls. And obviously we can kind of change them. The pivot point is obviously very important. So the pivot point is at the center of the circle. So if we snap to grid, which is what we've got, let's rotate that around. And so from here, let's do the same. I'm just gonna rotate that around one more and put that in place. 
and you can see that we've very quickly started building our tower there's our doorway into our tower now the one thing that i was actually intrigued is the stairs where are the stairs just having a look around so these are the doors obviously you would um, have them open and close but where are the stairs am i going crazy it took me a little bit to work out where they are but we found them in the end here we go let's have a look that's looking really nice i am interested in the wireframe yep the wireframe seems fairly straightforward uv channel overlapping stuff that is not too bad one thing i did want to check is the collision complex collision well if it's complex collision then that is fine but once again if i were to go out of this and into here i could hold uh move it up with alt and then we kind of just rotate it 180 and we can see that we've got our stairs moving up and around if i press play will it let me come in yeah let me just quickly run over there and so there's plenty of clearance everything works out fine yeah this is really good i'll probably definitely use this as an example when i start building my sci-fi um level so if you're still watching thank you very much my goodness that has helped me out a lot getting my watch time up thank you and if you haven't already subscribed the, the usual jazz but down below i'm pretty sure there'll probably be a link to download them and until next time.